thing you do with the arts, there are always memories that last a lifetime. That's what we try to do. We try to leave things that last a lifetime. A teacher in the arts, it's an awesome thing. So much art around this. We have so much art around us, or to represent artists, or to represent the arts. My goal is to inspire, to educate, to teach about the arts. So much art around us. Everything you do with the arts, there are always memories that last a lifetime. be the best in anything it's an art there are always memories that last a lifetime my name is michael angelo hernandez born and raised in california my story is, I've been an artist all my life since I was 12 years old. I went to the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, my first love in art was dance. I love to dance and I love music. But my main thing was uh, I started painting as the age of 12 and 13. I started selling my paintings uh, at 12, 13 years old. And I just enjoyed it. It was something that I was good at. I went to Jefferson Middle School. I went to Roosevelt Jefferson Middle School. Uh, uh, when I went to Jefferson, they found out that I was dyslexic. So I was really good with my hands, but uh, I've always wanted to paint and do work with my hands. But then I found out, and as I painted and painted, I had a, there was a reason what I painted. And I always wanted to know what, why I painted it, uh, leave a story to every painting that I had. And so that's what I'm trying to do today. Uh, I, I got a call from the Desert Sands Unified School District to do a painting for Abbott. Uh, it was a really nice project. Uh, Abbott is something that they inspire kids to go to college and inspire people. So I did the mural. It's called uh, The Future's Here, Dream Big. And that's what I'm doing, trying to do. Tell the kids is that's what I'm doing. And that's what I left on my mural. Uh, to believe in your dreams. I dr drove in, I uh, did my kids and now they're doctors or whatever, what do you want to do in life? Whatever goals you have in life, to do them uh, and uh, so I, when I was doing that mural uh, I learned that doing murals is a lot of elements you have to worry about you have to worry about the heat you have to worry about the wind the darkness so many things you have to worry about but I want to give credit to all those muralists that are doing murals out there it's a hard job but you know I honor them and uh, uh, they're doing some nice work out there keep it up uh, sometimes we have to do what we have to do to do what we love to do but dream those dreams are very important Hi, I'm Margo McCormick. I'm the proud principal of Thomas Jefferson Middle School, and today I'm going to talk to you about the um, inspiration behind this mural that we have here at Thomas Jefferson Middle School. We decided that we needed something to inspire our students for that college career mindset. And what a great way but to bring in a mural so that the kids could see it every day, so our community could see it as they drive in. And um, we were fortunate enough to bring in um, Michelangelo, the artist. And the unique story with Michelangelo is that he has ties to this community. He, this is his school he graduated from. He was one of our, our special needs students and found his passion and his expertise through art and the teachers that gave him that opportunity here. And so that's what he became and what he developed and what a good way to bring back to our community since he lives in our community. We wanted our students to see there's a result, there's an end result. And just the way he captured our community. Thank you, Michelangelo, for giving us the opportunity one student at a time.
Turning now to a solemn anniversary for the Valley community. Today marks five years since two Palm Springs police officers were gunned down in the line of duty. In honor of the legacies left behind of officers Vega and Zarebny, take a look at that mural going up here on the building just a short time ago. For the sacrifice they made for their community. Now we're off North Indian Canyon Drive. Take a look at the mural. This was painted by local artist Michael Angelo. It is mural because we think it's important for to these two offers that passed away. Uh, we want to leave a memory for them. They were good people, and we just want to bring all the community together. We know that art matters, and art is important. So we're just bringing it all together. He did put the hospital there. And uh, we think that's a landmark and this is a landmark, so it's going to be a perfect spot for them. Watching over the city, the guardians of the city, as some of the speeches refer to it as. And then I got a phone call from uh, Palm Springs Police Association to do another mural in Palm Springs. And that's where I was born. I was born in Palm Springs uh, Hospital there. It's a landmark. And that's what I did and I did. I put my painting, I put a landmark in there where I painted it was a landmark. So I put two landmarks together and I put the officers, the falling officers of Palm Springs. They gave their lives as uh, police officers. Uh, so I, I did all my research on them and very humble people, very good people. So I wanted to leave their story. I think it's important to leave stories. You know, stories last a, last a lifetime. And that's one of my goals to leave uh, leaving memories that last a lifetime. started working on the project oh we had to worry about so many things on the police project uh, we had to worry about the scaffolding the painting so that that mural is done in spray cans uh, different kind of mediums uh, different kind of paint and uh, we sealed it we protected it primered it we did all the things that you do for a mural uh, so it took a little bit more time but when, when it was said and done we, we were all proud of that job that we did uh, we always wanted it. We wanted to honor those two fallen heroes, and uh, it was a lot of work, but it was well worth it. And I wanted to uh, say that thank you for the Palm Springs Police Association for that opportunity they gave me, and uh, I want to thank them very much and Palm Springs for all their support in the arts. <laughs> As I was working on the Palm Springs mural, I got another call from the city of Coachella. They wanted to do a mural of Dolores Huerta. And what an honor that was for me uh, to leave her story. A uh, powerful woman, uh, activist, uh, so many things that she's done for the city, for, for the farm workers. It was an honor to do that mural. And uh, they said it couldn't be done. And I just want to say that 
Si se puede, and we did it. And uh, we we're honoring her story, and her life story, and was honored to do it. And that's when I bring in my other artist friend, Gary High, to help me on this project. Oh, my name is Gary High, and I'm an artist. The third project, the one with uh, Dolores Huerta, that I see uh, his design sense again came through. And we made it simple, straightforward, with the, uh, the fields, because he presented some different designs to me, and he came through with a wonderful design, and plus he, uh, he knew that if I had given some, it's just like we, we keep tossing out ideas, and then we have another a friend of ours, artist, uh, Manny, he suggested this just too much, and I thought, he's correct, it's too much. honor to do Dolores here on 6th Street and it was a pleasure uh, leaving a she's an icon leaving an icon for the city of Coachella they have a whole life story there when they tell you about that you were gonna be working in this project what was your reaction my reaction was what an honor very what an honor uh, to do a, a icon and one of the things that I'm reading viva la causa viva la causa for Mr. Cesar Chavez it's the same that they were working together yep. to work for better, better uh, rights for the farm workers. Yes. And you put it in that in that picture. And all the picture that I hear abajo for the farm bureau and Mr. Obama, the legacy of the Black Eagle, because it's going to represent the farm workers. Did you do also this work? So me and our other artists came together to do it. And we wanted to show, be more powerful to show her life story. So we did it all together to do her life story on the tiles. And uh, it's a unique mural because uh, there's nothing, something like this, a unique uh, project that we did. But I was so honored to work with different artists to bring them all together to do this beautiful mural. What is the message for the teenagers, for the youths here in the Coachella Valley when you create this masterpiece? Well, the masterpiece, I want people to know what she did, what her story is, and never forget what she's done. Because in stories, in my paintings, I want to leave stories for people to see, especially the new generation. What was she about? Uh, we know that people in the 70s, the 80s, they, they know because they went through the marching and everything. But I want to show the young ones that the story, her story has to be told, and we always have to keep that her story in mind. Who's behind this picture? Who's behind this woman that has been in Coachella, in the city of Coachella? There's so many things behind this picture. There's uh, bringing everybody together. Uh, I'm getting to know her foundations, what they've done for the Capi Settles and Coachella. This is for people alone. I'm learning so much. So bringing people together is the most important and helping each other, you know, working together as one. United as one, working together. And that's what I love. Your name is Michelangelo. Like greater Michelangelo, the great painter for Italy. Besides this picture, what else have you done in the Coachella Valley? I've done a mural in Palm Springs. I've done a mural in Indio, a mural in Palm Desert. And I got, my goal as an artist is me and my art friends, we want to do a mural in every city. And that's what we're doing so far, five murals, and we're going to keep going. What's the message for the future painters, for the teenagers, when they, they saw this picture? So for me, leaving a story, you know, this, she has a lot of stories. And my thing in my paintings, I want to leave stories. We all have stories. So this is her story of, for me, what I'm giving to her. And we all have stories. So I want the kids to really see what she's about, what she did, and, and be positive. And, and she's so positive and real uh, inspiring. How long have you been painting? I've been painting since I was 13 years old. Uh, I've always been painting and I was really good with my hands. But I always thank God for giving me the blessing that I do what I love to do and it got the blessing to do uh, it. You told me that you've been in Mexico City doing what, also receiving paintings? Yeah, Mexico City, I went to go see other, my favorite my favorite artists like Diego, Frida, uh, Tamayo, when I did a private tour in his museum and uh, uplifting. So when you come back to your studio, you, you're more powerful to paint more and, and you have a purpose when you see the great masters. I stopped by and I saw this beautiful picture, uh, Mr. Michelangelo, tell me, how did you get the idea? How was this idea I started to paint this Mrs. Dolores Huerta? It's Dolores Huerta. What an honor to paint someone that's been an icon for so many years. Uh, this is uh, one of my 
I really appreciated the paint, the colors that we use, the powerful colors. So we're trying to paint the world one day at a time, but the colors that we use is the reds and the greens, and her representing Coachella, and her looking up, saying that it's a fight hard to whatever you do in life to work hard at it. Thank you so much and congratulations, Mr. Miguel Angelo. Thank you very much. I'm here in downtown Coachella on the corner of 6th Street and Vine in the heart, lo que es el corazón de Coachella, muy orgullosamente, in front of the beautiful mural of Dolores Huerta. For me, it's a, it's a testimony of lo que es liderazgo para la mujer and our story. It has not only just work, 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 we have something that defines lo que es la mujer. It's a pleasure to come down and see it finally done. Thank you to the, the mural artists. Thank you to everybody that was involved in this. My name is Steve Clark. Um, I'm a retired college professor from UC Riverside, and now I'm a writer. You know, I grew up in the 60s. You know, I grew up in the, in the time of Bobby Kennedy and John F. Kennedy and Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. I, love this thing. I hope everybody gets to see this. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's striking. I love it. Well, art is how we carry along the message of our, of our ancestors, of our fathers, of our mothers, our brothers, and our sisters. And, um, you know, we, we do that through art like this. Hello, my name is Juan Pablo de la Torre. 95% of our customer base is migrant workers, farm workers. Um, so when Michelangelo and Ruben came with the idea of painting a mural of the Lotus Huerta in our building, we didn't hesitate whatsoever. It was a straight yeah right away. And as you can see, this mural is very beautiful and it represents our Latin community, our migrant workers. It's just a pleasure and an honor to have his artwork in our building. Ruben Gonzalez, born and raised in the, in the valley, actually born in India, raised in Coachella, been here all my life. I started, I bought the ranch actually like in 1981, and, uh, and when I bought the ranch it was basically just a, a blank piece of, uh, of land, there was no, no water, no electricity. 
Uh, it was until about 85 that I actually started developing the ranch with an idea of actually uh, creating Ruben's Ranch. Uh, actually, I don't think I uh, ever got into the arts. The art got into me when I was born. It's part of your DNA, I think. Uh, I, uh, my, my mom was actually a movie producer, uh, a writer. She wrote over a thousand songs, so I think it, that's part of the, the inspiration. Met our, uh, you know, Mike. It's been you know several years, but I think that you know he's we've uh, known a, have a lot of common friends. I know he was involved in boys and boys, boys and girls club in Indio, and uh, a lot of the people that he actually hung out with there were kids, childhood friends of mine. So Michael, uh, you know, uh, when I met him, we just started uh, you know clicked and then started uh, working, and you know Mike is just uh, you know full of talent and. I'd like to say he's one of the most creative artists out here in the valley, man, so. Ruben's Ranch, amazing ranch, Ruben. Man, this place has a lot of art, a lot of history. Uh, what made you kind of do something like your vision? I know you're a visionary, but <laughs> what, what made you do something like this with all this beautiful art and all this history? Well, I think it's something, like I mentioned earlier, that uh, it's not that, you know, I started doing art yesterday or, you know, 10 years ago. I think it's something you're born with, you know what I mean? And it evolves as, as you as you get older. Uh, and I don't know, I just thank everybody that's been part of Ruben's Ranch. I mean, obviously we're not, I don't think we're recognized what we really should be. But uh, we've had some pretty amazing people on the property, you know. I, I've, uh, I've opened my door for a lot of friends of mine are the college professors. We've done book signings here. We've done events, special events. Uh, we were obviously we work with uh, with Cultura's Music and Art. I'm one of the founders. We work with uh, Synergy Fest, which is a, a festival, music and art festival we do every year. I want to thank Michelangelo as, as, a, as an artist, and uh, you know it's interesting because, like I mentioned earlier, I think 99% of the artists are are always positive and you know good vibes, and that's what I've got from Michael. And, and uh, we've uh, collaborated on a couple of uh, projects. I love you, brother. I love you, Mike. Good job, man. Bobby just meant the world to a lot of people, um, and, and we kept his memory alive, Michelangelo did, uh, and, and I've been blessed enough to actually present it and talk about it uh, on print. His mural that he painted to Bobby, and uh, Michelangelo, if you come on in here. Bobby was a good friend, uh, he was very inspired in the music, like you said he could play any instrument. Uh, King Beats, he had the beats, unbelievable beats, when we made music, and uh, I wanted to remember a memory of him, him and his family, but uh, that's why I painted him. So we will never forget him and we'll never forget his music. That's right. It means a lot to us. You got the little radio here, you got the music notes, King Beats, you got the King Crown, and you got Beats. But uh, he meant a lot to us in the music business. My passion is music and my love is art. Uh, John Stanley King, the King Brothers. Wow, they did every kind of music, uh, performers. Uh, I worked with his brother Bobby King, but John Stanley King just wrote a song for me for the Futures Here Dream Big. What an opportunity that was. 
I just want to thank him and his family for keeping music alive because that means a lot to me. Music is really powerful for me and I think it's universal and it's a worldwide. Uh, I did a painting of his brother, Bobby King. That was another one. Uh, worked with him. A great opportunity to work with him doing King Beats with Blake. And uh, we did some great music. Uh, music that we still listen to to this day. John Stanley King uh, from uh, Indio, California. Actually, born and raised in Indio. Uh, been an artist my whole life. Started pro professionally as a uh, as a 12-year-old drummer in my grandfather's uh, jazz band right here in the Coachella Valley. Haven't put it down since. Just keep growing and growing and growing. The arts is where it's at for me. It uh, has always touched my heart and uh, been a very big part of my family's uh, unity. Uh, a feeling like no other. Uh, close when you're playing with your good friends, but nothing like playing with family. So uh, keep the arts in your school. Teach these kids that uh, art is the truth. The art is the uh, the honest truth of a person's soul. So dig around. Look out for what kind of art you want to do. Drawing, uh, piano, guitar, acting. Acting is another great art that I got involved with. Uh, Indio High School and I found that all those arts that I learned as a kid contributed to what I do today and I'm very thankful that I'm able to make a living being an artist. It's not easy but it's a lot of fun let me tell you. Now I grew up as I said in Indio, California and uh, uh, being from a small town at the time especially in the uh, 70s and 80s there was lots of art and lots of families around the area. And there was this kid named Michael Angelo who lived down the street. Uh, and every day I'd walk past his home. I went to school with his sister and I'd walk past his home uh, to go to the Boys and Girls Club down in Indio. Always seeing Mikey and his brothers running up and down the streets and giving us trouble until we got him at the Boys Club, which I think is probably where some of uh, where he found some of his art, artistic abilities was through uh, places like the Boys and Girls Club of the Coachella Valley. So Mikey's been blessing the desert with murals for years, with art for years, and he's one of the biggest supporters of, uh, of all arts here in the Coachella Valley and all over the nation, without a doubt. Now, once you're in, you're in, and Michelangelo has been in for a long time. Thankful to call him a friend and proud of him. Through all of Mikey's travels, he's uh, always kept me and my family in his in his head and in his heart. And uh, speaking for myself and my family, we're very thankful that he's always thinking about us. And uh, today he uh, brought by a beautiful portrait of my little brother Bobby King, who uh, Mikey and Blake worked with for many, many years. And uh, Bobby has passed on his love of music to these young gentlemen too. 
And this is a picture of my baby brother here. Rest in peace, Bobby. He was such a uh, musician's musician. He was one of the most soulful cats that I ever had the pleasure of loving and knowing. So thank you, Mikey, for making this picture for me. And uh, congratulations on this project. Look forward to more projects with these cats. And I'm uh, very thankful. We'll see you around. I call my best friend Blake. Uh, we did the music together. Uh, we did the, the police officer song. Wow, we worked together at it. You know, I used to manage Blake. Uh, he's a great rapper, a great producer. Uh, he did that song, it was unbelievable. The family were honored to hear something, not just to see a mural, but to hear it. We had seen and hearing. Uh, what an honor to work with Blake. Uh, uh, put it all together and it made my mural powerful. I want to thank you out of my heart, man. You know, I love music and working with you is a pleasure always working with you. My name is Blake Sandin and I support the arts. I got a phone call from Michelangelo, good old Mikey, uh, and uh, he was requesting that, uh, that, that if I'll make a song for him. And, and, and you know, he knows my musical background and I compose uh, mostly for, for uh, documentaries, videos, so I committed. Uh, but then he drops the caveat and he's like, well, I want you, I want you to rap on it. Uh, hold on just a minute now. Uh, he says, uh, he says, Blake, I need you to make the song. I need it in two days. Now I'm really concerned, right? Because uh, I didn't want to overcommit and underachieve. Another special thing about that song was uh, uh, my producer, Bobby King, uh, who recently passed away. Um, before he passed, uh, I inherited, uh, he gave me some of his beats, uh, instrumental, if you will. Um, and so I skimmed through them all and I was able to use one uh, for the police song. So not only were we able to honor uh, Bobby King, who was well known in, in the uh, desert, uh, we were able to honor the police officers all in one song. to him. Um, my dad and I had that relationship where we talked, you know, almost every day. 
so it was important for him to know how everybody was and what they were up to. Mija, this is what, this is what life's all about. And uh, he would say it so much so that my husband went and uh, we just bought a travel trailer ourselves and he put that quote on the trailer for him. Let's go back to the car. Mia, it's 1953. An angel with a badge, yeah. You can guarantee, I can see. Now you're free, yeah. Get up and go and get it. You've been touched in your life, yeah. He's the one that did it. Please understand, Jose, that we all miss you. You can bet, daddy fed. When you wake up, let me kiss you. She's got your picture always with her. The peace sticks with her. It hit your heart, yeah, sure. By her brother and sister, you left behind. Free from kids. Up hope integrity with everything you did. We can't go back this time. You are a friend of mine. Taught us to walk the line. Taught us to lead the blind. Lies, they say lies. They had 538, 37 year tour. When you made the desert great, the same thing came. You know what's not safe. We miss you so dearly. I think he liked being a part of the fabric and being part of the community and, and making sure it was safe for everybody uh, from every aspect of it, uh, from homeowners to, to everybody in the community and making sure they were a part of it and they abided by the laws and abided by the rules and even the visitors that came in, Palm Springs brought in you know millions of people every year and, and just making sure everybody had a good time. Let's go back in time, yeah, it's 1989 An angel with a badge, yeah, she was always kind On the grind, walk the line, yeah, Leslie always got it Living life by truth, yeah, she's the one who taught it Your warrior strive to end, yes, in paradise Your love's not lost, girl, no, it's put on ice The purchase price is no surprise, you live by that advice The life lesson learned is overpriced you live behind your baby Coca-Cola. We miss you. I gotta pause my playlist on Pandora. Let's got your songs, yeah, a lot of memory. Stuff happened in October, yeah, a lot of history. It seems to be the good die young for no reason. That stupid of you, uh, in all seasons. You gotta believe in your life is not in vain. Every day we live on Earth, yeah, we feel the pain. We can't just turn the page, we can't just live with rage We gotta set the stage, we gotta turn away From all this violence, are you ready? We miss you so dearly, Officer Off Leslie Family was always the most important thing to him um, uh, My dad and I had that relationship where we talked, you know, almost every day But the conversations usually surrounded um, around how was How's your sister doing? How's your brother? How are the grandkids? What are they up to? What's going on? So it was important for him to know how everybody was and what they were up to. Especially in his later years, I guess you would say. It was even more important for him to have us all together. But he would always say, um, we had to see. As for an artist, you know, doing shows, uh, a lot of museum shows, La Quinta, Palm Springs, it was an honor to do all these shows. You know, I learned uh, presentation is everything. Framing your artwork, uh, making your artwork look the best that you have to do your very best at it. So that project, you know, doing my, my paintings and I, I learned that there's stories that, that are supposed to be told. So I, was, I did a lot of paintings for all these museums and galleries, done a lot of art shows outside, inside. Uh, so I enjoyed every moment of those shows that I did because I learned uh, how to represent, how to show my artwork. Uh, just like galleries is how they show their artwork with lighting. All that means, uh, uh, it means a lot when you're doing an art piece. And then I made a song. Uh, I always loved music, so I made a Lakers song. It came out to be Lakers. And one of the lyrics is, from the east to the west, Laker, uh, Kobe was the best. And that's one of the lyrics that's in there. But uh, I love the Lakers. 
uh, Lakers. Uh, was Basketball is one of my best sports that I like. So I, I had an honor to do that with King Beats and Buck Blake there. We did some music that uh, really touched my heart was the Lakers. And uh, I did a Lakers song for the Lakers and uh, I enjoyed it. And that's the love of music, you know, you can still listen to it. I'll be 90 years old and I'll be still listening to that music. But it was really enjoy to do music that you, you produce it and you listen to it. It's a real joy in it. Oh, when I painted Lakers, uh, I do a lot of paintings of uh, Lakers, Kobe, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Worthy, uh, Vanessa. I even did a painting of Vanessa, Kobe's wife. But uh, Lakers are one of my things that I enjoy a lot. Uh, I, I've done a, a couple new paintings of the King, LeBron's, uh, AD, always all Lakers. You know, I try to paint them. I've done a painting of Jerry West, Magic Johnson. Uh, I paint a lot of Laker stuff. Uh, I love painting Laker stuff, what I enjoy seeing. So I try to put that in my paintings. Uh, what have they done or what they're about. So that's why I do paintings of the Lakers. Where my Laker fans at? Lakers! Lakers! I don't hear y'all. I don't hear them either, Dre! If Lakers! you're down with the purple and gold, Lakers! speak up, speak up! Check Lakers! it out, Dre! Check it out, Dre! Three. One, two, three. So grab the genie and rub the bottle. Let's get some magic. Ramona, Vic, and Terry off. They're always getting off. And now, oh, join the team to win some rings. And watch his big news. He's feeling that issue. The sound bombs are seven foot. Look, the new sky hook. The mass is giving up the knowledge. Machine is
pieces that I worked on, it has a lot of texture. Uh, they're all metallics. And there's a big rough, a uh, lot of texture. I did the farm workers uh, abstract. You got the blues, you got this farmer working. And these are all just shapes of a farmer working with so many different colors and uh, uh, so many different things going on. But uh, I enjoy this painting in abstract. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's done in uh, materials that are really unique. paintings that I really enjoyed. Uh, the mountains, back scene. This is Coachella Fest. Uh, seen a lot of great artists like Prince, Black Eyed Peas, Paul McCarthy, so many. And this is why I did this painting. It says Coachella Fresh, because you know Coachella had a lot of fresh music coming in at that time. Madonna, uh, but you have the animals, the Coachella, the guitar, the windmill. Uh, the drum set, this is the drum set right here. Then you see the little balloons flying and you have all related to music. And then you have the box. And you know, I put the animals in there too because in Coachella there's animals, you know? There's, there's, there, you had the farms and they had the animals and you had the culture and you had the, uh, every, you had everything, dates and so many things we had. I learned that I can leave stories in my paintings. Why am I painting that? What's the reason? What's going on? Why? So all these thoughts will come to my mind. Why am I picking the things I paint? To leave stories, to show my story. Tell us, what is this composed of? Because no, but usually it's canvas or plaster, but what is this? This is concrete. You know, uh, I do a lot of stuff in concrete. When you look at the world, you see grass, but you do see a lot of concrete in the world. So I started doing a painting that was done in concrete for like a last lifetime. And what did, how did, how did that come about that you, that knew how to work in concrete? So I'm doing a job in Bighorn and uh, I'm doing a, a, uh, an overlay and I had all this What concrete. is an overlay? An that, overlay. That people know is that okay. An overlay is something that, that you, it's concrete that you put on top of concrete and you try to make it look like stone, but it's really concrete so it lasts a longer time. But you make this, you make concrete look like stone or any kind of different material and it looks real. You know, there's, there's, there's stamps that you, you do the stone work and it looks so real. It looks like tile. Tile. It looks yeah, like anything. Anything. So I had all this left over and I put it on canvas and that was 20, I sold it and that was 25 years ago. So I started. And how did you, you knew that it wouldn't crack because you had already figured out how it wouldn't crack when you were doing it. Yes. Yeah, so I, there was the glues that I, I, I studied, uh, I, you know, stains, and, and I just studied it, and I, and I said, I'm gonna do it. But it, it was really a, you know, but I had- you studied it, but it was by, by practice makes perfect, that's right? That's it, exactly. And then too, you, we learned from our mistakes, right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna add this glue that. 
and it works. It really yeah, bonds to it. So all of a sudden, a mistake, a mistake becomes this genius thing that's created. Right. There are no mistakes. There is no mistakes. Exactly. You learn from them. We learn from our mistakes. And and that one I learned. I was. I, I found something that. Wow, something that could last forever. Concrete. If it, nobody's walking on the concrete, it's gonna last forever. If it's done in stain, sealed, it's gonna be something that will last a lifetime. So I started doing art that was sat in the patios. People, we, we're in a beautiful desert that has patios. We have beautiful yards. So I started making art for outside, and I've been doing it since 25 years. And do you ever do any work that's in relief? Like, like here, like if you added palm trees, that you could very easily do by just adding yes. concrete. Yes, I've done, I've done reliefs, I've done three-dimensional artwork. I have uh, concrete sculptures. I'm working on a, a sculpture right now, Chavez. So I'm doing Chavez. And I have, if you look at some of my arts, I have uh, women's bodies coming out three-dimensional. And I've done, I used to do a lot of back then in the 80s and the 90s, three-dimensional art. Yeah. So I kind of put things together and always learning to do something new. I'm always trying to use something, different materials. Oh, uh, this painting I did, I enjoyed it. I've always wanted to do Jesus Christ. So you see the texture coming out. You'll see all the, uh, the texture that's coming out on this painting. Uh, I've always wanted to do Jesus Christ and I put them colorful. Uh, the colors that, you know, he was so, what a special person he was. So I wanted to make them really colorful. So I worked on it and uh, I did them the right way on a stage. Uh, so I've always wanted to paint and I did it the right way. And I just want to thank Jehovah God for giving me the opportunity to do what I do uh, as an artist and uh, to have that gift and uh, to do it for life, for my life. And that's what I do. That's what I do and uh, do it every day and I enjoy it. Right when I walked into my house, I had this beautiful painting of the animals. Can't wait for the time so we could play with the Sheeta. The kid will play with the Sheeta and the lion. When I see this, they're all together in harmony. And uh, we could see ourselves there. I can't wait for that time, that paradise to come. But I love the colors and all the animals all together as one. And you see here the, the elephant. You know, the elephant means a lot to me because it's, just, it's one of the biggest animals, but it's powerful. But they're here all together, all the animals together. You got the wolf with the lion and the lambs and everything will be together as one. My name is Yvette Hernandez. I am married to Michelangelo. I have known him for 20 years. When I met him, he hadn't been discovered as an artist yet. I would always encourage him to never give up on his dreams. He is an amazing painter and artist in all the areas. Every one of his paintings has a story and message. Now he's been finally given the opportunity to paint uh, murals, for example, the Palm Springs Police Officers Mural in downtown Palm Springs. 
um, the, the Jefferson Middle School mural, and now the Dolores Huerta mural in Coachella. With each one of these murals, he has been given the opportunity to paint and tell the story behind each mural. Um, he is finally getting the recognition he deserves as an artist. Uh, I am also very proud of him for accomplishing all of these things. He is finally getting the recognition he deserves. I am so very proud of Michelangelo um, as an artist, but most importantly, as a father and a husband. I love him very much and couldn't imagine life without Michael. I wanna share with you one of Michelangelo's paintings. This painting here means a lot to me. Um, it means a lot to me because it represents music and there is notes in it and um, it just, it's, it's close to my heart. Um, I really love music and this painting is an expression of how I feel when I listen to music, especially jazz music, as you can see in this painting. Um, I also want to thank you for watching this documentary and being part of it and being part of this legacy that Michelangelo leaves. Quiero darle las gracias a todos por apoyar a mi esposo um, en su carrera de artista y seguirlo y darle todo este apoyo que le han dado. Muchas gracias. Thank you for watching my documentary. I want to thank a lot of people. I want to thank my wife, Yvette, my kids, D'Angelo, Emilio, and Natalia, and my family, my whole family, my twin brother, my brother Ralph, my sister, uh, Mario, his wife, everybody, all my family for all the support they've always given me. Uh, to do what I love uh, and to get the support is very powerful. So thank you for all the things and all the people that supported me, uh, state of the arts, all the galleries, all the museums, everybody that gave me that support. And my goal is to leave, keep art alive and keep it going. I think it's very important so the kids can do, to look at it. And to, there's stories in everything that we do. So thank you for all the opportunities. This is Michelangelo. Peace out. You don't know where I come from, what I've been through, who I've hung with. Now I'm telling you where I've been, where I'm at, where I'm going to. What I see in my dreams, what I'm gonna do. You don't know me, but I don't know you. You can see me on the cover of GQ. Posted up with my million bucks, my brand new pad, and my fly ass tux. You don't know where I come from, what I've been through, who I've hung with. Now I'm telling you where I've been, where I'm at, where I'm going to. What I've seen in my dreams, what I'm gonna do. You don't know me, but I don't know you. You can see me on the cover of GQ. Posted up with my million bucks, my brand new pad, and my fly ass tux. I didn't start with much, now I take the ball in the clutch The front row is a taste, but now I'm misplaced They face me, they shoes and tie when they were straight laced They call me a basic piece, cause I'm another race A breed, a human that can't be found I take your stash and roll around I hit the booth and make new sounds I'm making rules that go to me like folders I'm a new special type of soldier I give orders, I run borders Without guns, I use missile